there's still much to discover about the seas off Scotland. Over a hundred miles to the northwest of the Outer Hebrides, way out into the Atlantic and deep in the Rockall Trough, lies a massive extinct volcano that rises 1,900 metres from the seabed. That's 500 metres higher than Ben Nevis. This single seamount, known as the Rosemary Bank, is a staggering 35 miles across. That's comparable in size to the entire Cairngorms National Park. This year, the Scottish Government designated Rosemary Bank as a marine protected area. And this September, scientists from Marine Scotland set out aboard the research vessel Scotia to survey the area with the aim of discovering and mapping out the species, habitats and ecosystems of the Rosemary Bank. At depths of between 1,200 to 1,500 metres, we deployed a camera that flies over the seabed recording what lies beneath in high definition video. We had never surveyed to these depths before and it took nearly an hour for the camera to drop down through the water column until at last the seabed came into view. As more lights were switched on and two laser pointers gave us a sense of scale, we began to realise that what we were seeing was possibly the most extensive and pristine sponge reefs to have been reported from UK waters. Sponges are an evolutionary ancient group of filter feeding animals that are found all the way from the coastline to the deep sea. Most deep sea species have a skeletal structure made of silica and are very different from the soft variety you might find in your bathtub. As the footage shows, they more resemble birds nests, mushrooms or large cheeses. You would not want to wash yourself with these sponges. They have the texture of loft insulation and a very peculiar smell. They form dense aggregations and over decades to centuries these become diverse biogenic ecosystems that cycle nutrients, filter enormous volumes of water and provide refuge for many other species of fish and invertebrates. You can see at least two distinct types of sponges. The large white vase-like or globular ones, these are known as the geodia sponges, and the smaller hairy looking ones and these are known as the glass sponges. Between the sponges we glimpsed many other species including deep sea sharks, orange ruffy, grenadier fish, eels, squat lobsters and octopus. We estimated the area of sponges to be anything between 75 and 250 kilometers squared, perhaps even larger as we were only able to explore a small fraction of the seamount. There must be millions of sponges down there and when one considers that each kilogram of sponge is estimated to filter a cubic meter of water each day, that's a lot of ocean filtration going on down there. At present, we can only guess as to what role such an ecosystem plays in maintaining a healthy ocean. Sponge reefs, such as those on Rosemary Bank, are highly vulnerable to damage by bottom fisheries and other human disturbance, and so require protection from these types of human activities. The United Nations has recently passed resolutions for the protection of such ecosystems and it is important that we carefully manage any human activities in such areas. Fortunately, this area appears to be mostly in pristine condition as far as we could make out and the designation of Rosemary Bank as a marine protected area will hopefully help ensure its potential value in biodiversity and ecosystem function is maintained for the future.